My name is Sebastian Roos. And my name is Amber Davey. Today my colleague and I are going to talk about the new global issue that is deforestation. Forests cover 31% of the land area on our planet. They produce vital oxygen and provide homes for people and wildlife. Many of the world's most threatened and endangered animals live in forests and 1.6 billion people rely on benefits forests offer, including food, fresh water, clothing, traditional medicine and shelter. But forests around the world are under threat from deforestation, jeopardising these benefits. Deforestation comes in many forms, including natural fires, clear cutting for agriculture, ranching and development, and unsustainable logging for timber. This impacts people's livelihoods and threatens a wide range of plant and animal species. I'd just like to point out that within the last minute of speaking, 70 trees have been cut down which is the same as 36 rugby fields being destroyed every minute. We are now going to take you live in the field with Cameron. Over to you, Cameron. Thanks, guys. So, Alexia, how exactly does this issue of deforestation relate to us here in New Zealand? Well, here in New Zealand, the Māori and Europeans burnt down and cleared roughly 14.7 million hectares of native forest. So isn't that deforestation? OK, but that was ages ago. Everything seems to be all right now. Well, what if I told you that our population here in New Zealand is meant to rise from the current four and a half million to seven million people in 45 years? That's in both of our lifetimes. Okay, so what does this mean? So this is us now. For every square kilometre, there is about 17 people. In 45 years, in every square kilometre, there will be about 26 people. But that's still heaps of room. Surely this isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, but I think you've forgotten about all the housing, the farms, the roads, the lakes, the rivers, the mountains, and everything that has to fit into that area. Oh, so that's why we're cutting down what's left of our forests, to make room for more people. Yes, but then we also have to think about New Zealand's clean green image and how deforestation is going to affect that. Our image and our native flora and fauna is a huge part of our tourism. But if we don't cut down these trees, where are we going to put all these people? Something to think about, team. Back to you in the studio. This just in. Research from our science team has shown the rate of deforestation is increasing in the Amazon rainforest. Rates have increased by 20% between the years 2012 and 2013. This percentage has been confirmed with me by our researchers and is most likely will continue to rise over the coming years. It's not just the immediate effects that will have a major impact on the global environment either. It is estimated that 15% of all greenhouse gas emissions are as a result of deforestation. As I'm sure most of you know, trees play a vital role in combating climate change. The use of sustainable logging techniques and the replanting of trees are just some of many ways that we can help to combat this global issue. I have been Sebastian Roos. And I have been Amber Davey. Thank you for listening.